Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. When you can share this and experience it together and <laughs> all the laughs, all the frowns, all of it, put it together, that little girl will never forget that hunt. Welcome to this week's The Choice. Welcome. Hey, this week we're going to head down to Florida. Yep, we're going down to Hop, and we are just, well, we're having a blast. We're going to head down to Osceola Outfitters, one of our favorite springtime places to go. We're going to hunt turkeys when it's cold at home. We're going to Florida. We're going to warm up. And this one was kind of a different situation because this time you and I were actually in New Zealand, and we went straight to Florida to hunt. But we already Talked had Rafe about, and RJ and yep. everyone else down there, so... Talk about jet lag. Mm, jet lag was bad, really bad. But we've got a big show, a really big show, so we should really get going. Excited for the coming hunt, RJ prepares to sight in his Browning A5 shotgun, his weapon of choice for turkeys and waterfowl. Paired with a True Glow Tactical Red Dot, the optic allows for fast target acquisition and exceptional performance in low light. That's a dead bird. Well, my mom and dad were in New Zealand and me, Terry, and Chad had to drive down here 21 hours together in a van. 21 long, long hours. Well, it's the first day of my spring break this year. What am I doing? I'm driving down to Florida with Chad and Terry. So. <laughs> It's every year we come down here for spring break and I love it for turkeys and just get it down with top case and all that but I mean it's crazy to just go down there every year it's like family at this point. I mean now that I can actually drive down there they're having me drive which I could be sleeping right now but eh, maybe I'll get down there faster. Than I feel like I'm flying up to a resort. So this is a resort. So, Five star Hoppy Kemper Osceola Outfitter Resort. Where all your wildest dreams come true. Welcome. Yo! How's it going? Hey, don't bite. Come here, son. I'm the three yard, eh? You too. I'm three, son. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a little bit different this year. We started off with RJ hunting, and uh, Ralph and Vicky are in New Zealand. They're actually on their way back from New Zealand. And uh, we're going to take RJ out first and see if we can get him a turkey. Let's get her done. What we got down here, and Case has already got a spot picked out for us. Hoppy's never been there. They've never really hunted there. So I turned the two of them guys loose. The cameraman went with them, and the way they went. Well, this is your first time in the spot? First time in the spot. You think it's gonna work well? Oh yeah, absolutely. I know it's gonna work. You guys are sure this is where we're going, right? 100% positive. positive. Get her done. Let's do it. This is how we like the turkey hunt. Oh yeah. Let's 
Let's this is where it's at. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good spots right over here. All right, let's get it. This is the way to Oh, yeah. I told you, always the best spots. There's quite a few hens here, too. Just got to push out the gobblers here. came back with no turkey and they had a little bit of a sunburn, that's all I'm saying. Now in Florida, RJ and the crew are at Osceola Outfitters, which offers outstanding hunting opportunities for Osceola turkeys, wild hogs, white-tailed deer, and of course, the Florida Gator. Hunting takes place on a working fifth generation Florida cattle ranch, both rich in history and well preserved with Florida's natural beauty and untamed wildlife. Game limits in the state of Florida are quite liberal due to vast amounts of game. Yet Osceola Outfitters is still recognized in Central Florida as having exceptional wildlife populations and game management programs. Well, I met Hoppy actually a couple years ago as well. Uh, he's at a, a shot show, and uh, I, we got introduced through Ralph and Vicky as well. And uh, you know, he's, he invited us out, or invited me out to come out and, and hunt with them. And it's a fabulous spot. Um, so what you kind of figure in in a cypress type swamp environment, but it's also different in many other ways as well. So anyway, we pack up, we get in the truck, we're driving through the ranch. We spot this big tom out in this pasture strutting with a hen. And I'm thinking where he's actually located, all we've got to do is drive around the back side of this swamp, sneak through the swamp where we can see him, get set up, try to call him away from that hen. What we're gonna do is slip up through the timber. When we get to the other side, there's some tall grass. There's gonna be some, some weeds and some palmettas. We're gonna work our way up to the edge of the fence line to the pasture he's in, see if we can get set up. And, you know, this is running and gunning. It's tough to do with cameras and all yeah, that. It's all right. Oh, he just got a second ago too, so. Yeah, we heard him gobble. So. All right, let's go. You guys ready? Follow us. We're going to go see if we can get a turkey. We make our way through this little um, cypress swamp that had been drained out. Uh, make our way all the way to the end where that, that Tom has been at. And as soon as we got to the other end, we're looking for him, and he gobbles right behind us. We had just split the difference. He had gone one way, we'd gone the other, and he's now back out in the field where our truck is at. We realized we got to backtrack and catch up to him on the other side again. So we're making our way back in and we're still hearing some gobbles and there's actually some more birds to our, to our right and we're still after the bird on the left. And uh, we got into a, a nest or something of a bunch of owls. <laughs> And it was one of the coolest experiences I've been in. You're in this soccer swamp, you got moss hanging off these trees, and we had owls literally flying, landing in treetops 10 feet above our heads, and they were hooping and hollering and making all kinds of noise and ruckus. And every time they would, they'd, they'd sound off, the turkeys were sounding off, and it was in that cypress swamp in there, it was such a cool experience, all kinds of different sounds. Birds are going off. They've got cool owls you don't get to see every day, and they're right there on top of us. We're all pulling our cell phones out, taking quick pictures of them. I mean, they're just right there on top of us. And, uh, you know, those are the types of things when you're hunting. It's not about the kill all the time. It's not about the actual bird you're chasing, the turkeys. It's all those other things that are going on. And, and having that experience and, and being amongst uh, that environment, that, that's, that's a cool piece of why we come and why we do what we do. We get set up, we get the camera up, we get Rafe up in the tall grass. We can see just the tops of his fan over there. He's strutting with his hen and I just make some nice soft purrs. In this Tom comes. And I told Rafe, I said, they were gonna have a little shooting lane right here, get ready. So the bird finally made his way through, gave us this little window opening there in the grass. I raised up that A5, put the bead right on his head. Poppy gave him a little putty, lifted his head up real quick. Woo! 
We hear Rafe to just take a shot and Turk is down, just right there. It was awesome. That's cool. That's ah! cool. That's cool. We got him to come. And just like that, my first Osceola. Ooh, man, this. look at the spur on that guy. Yeah. And beat this up a little, little bit. Shorter. It broke off. Yeah. Well, yeah, you'll be fighting close, a little bit. Close to the inch and, yeah, probably not a half. They are chipped up from fighting. Yeah, look at that. That is super cool. Nice. Super cool. I think he had a full fan. He looked like he had a full fan oh, when he was yeah. out there in the field. So. Full on. Nice. That is very cool. Hey, man. That's my first off seal. Thank you so much. That is uh, absolutely. That's super cool. Super cool. Such absolutely. a cool bird. I think it was fun to watch Rafe experience everything we always experience down. You know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Down in Florida with the Kempfers, and and then for him to. I mean, he's like you said. I can't believe this. this well, it's a game-rich environment. Oh yes. And the amount of turkeys that Hoppy has down there, I mean, it, it's just, it is really kind of crazy. Well, yeah, I mean, he manages strict. They don't overhunt the area. Nope, you know, he allows they, one instead of two birds. Yep, and, and that's why he's so successful. So Ralph and Vicki make it in from their trip from New Zealand. I know they're worn out. We come into camp. We decide we're going to take RJ. We know RJ's going back out, but Vicky feels well enough, and she decides I'm going to go too. I don't even know what's going on. Well, you're hunting, and I'm hunting with you. We're going turkeys. hunting. We're going turkey hunting together. I'm the one that flew for 40 something no, I mean, hours. You, you should know what's going on. No? I'm filming with you, and if you shoot one early, then I'll shoot one. Afternoon two, day two. Today I got me mom with me. Me mom. <laughs> Hopefully tonight we can get for two, 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 two for two. two. That would be cool. Yeah. If you and I doubled up. So I had this spot in mind. We fixed up a nice blind. I had RJ facing one way, watching this fence line. Had Vicky facing the other way, watching the fence line. I'm kind of in the middle here. We're expecting a turkey to either walk a roadway or walk a fence line and two hens start coming up and start cutting. I take my call out and I start cutting back at them and we get these two hens so fired up, man, they come, come up that fence line in front of RJ, walked up, I, I'm thinking like six yards from us. Anyway, Vicky spots the turkey, walks right out in front of Vicky, walking down the road, he come in to investigate all this hen noise. <laughs> I just landed from New Zealand like it's 5 p.m. We landed in Orlando at 7 o'clock this morning after 42 hours of flying in from New Zealand. <laughs> She's done. Her first night out, Rafe's first morning out. They're both done. Supposed to double up. Thanks for sharing, guys. Well, my hunt was very short today. I just landed and well, we got set up, and we were trying to figure out where we needed to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We figured out the spot we wanted to go, right. but we wasn't sure, sure how we were going to do this because so. we had a road we wanted to watch. We had a fence line we wanted to watch, so we set RJ facing that way and you facing this way. Jimmy was down the road where he could look and he was yeah. going to give us the hoot if he seen something coming up the road. Sure enough, you know, we had the hens there cutting to them. Yep. Gobbler comes up the road. On your side. End of the story. And then RJ. And RJ sets yeah. another day. <laughs> RJ sat this morning and Rafe shot his bird. And then I sat this afternoon and I shot his bird. So. See, every time we're going to double up on something, they end up getting a funny. Funny to start doubling up. You should, you should just stop doubling up. Tomorrow morning, <laughs> tell Dad he can't go with you. Yeah, you're going to sleep in the morning? Oh, you're going yeah. oh, to give up your spot in the morning for Dad. Yeah. I'll, I'll let him finish it off. So then I can just take that evening and just be done. Oh, is that the plan? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Well, thank you for letting me um, okay. thank you very Congrats much. again. <laughs> and hop. Good job. Thanks. Yep. That was quick. Yep. <laughs> that was a quick one. Here comes the truck. And Jimmy's got the truck. And we're set to go back to camp. First day bird. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I'll put this. All right. Let's get some pictures. The hunt continues in Florida with Hoppy and the gang as they pursue one of the most sought after game species in Florida, the Osceola turkey. 
This bird did not earn the name Swamp Gobbler for nothing. While they are tough and elusive birds to hunt, game is well managed and there are plentiful populations at Osceola Outfitters. Now that both Vicky and Wraith have tagged out, RJ is up to bat and ready to call in some birds. These, these turkeys start coming in, and like, they're taking their time, kind of. They, they have a little bit of wobble in their walk. They're, they're getting closer and closer as the cattle start coming, and the turkeys kind of get to a point where they can see the decoy at that point. And this one, this one just struts up, and it just starts coming straight to the decoy. And it worked out perfectly. I mean, I, I've never seen a turkey run full strut before, but it was amazing. And I mean, it's going straight to our decoy. I never lost sight of his head. And this thing gets behind the decoy, the decoy's tail fans right here. Jimmy starts pulling a little string to make it come down. And as it's going down, the head just perfectly lines up. There we go. <laughs> <sighs> I was, it was amazing to have just everybody there and be able to do that. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah. Ooh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was leaning longer, I think. An inch and a half. Yeah. That's the first one we killed that's jilly like that. Mm -hmm. Got the. It worked. Yeah. It worked. That's <laughs> all. I just want to give a big thank you to not only my mom and dad, but the Kempfers, and of course God above us, and cameramen, everybody around here that's put effort into any of this type of stuff. It just thank you it makes everybody's lives so much better. Meanwhile. Poppy and Vicky are set up with Danny, the daughter of Fern Duquette from Cachabowie Outpost. We get to our spot. Danny has never been turkey hunting before. Fern, her dad, has never been turkey hunting himself or never shot a turkey. So the two of them are in the blind with us. After about 30 minutes, here comes this big Tom in from behind us. He's actually walking 10 yards to our right I can't see him walk out. Danny's offset for me just a little bit. She sees him. So I lean out, I see the Tom go up, come out from behind the tree. Vicky zooms in on him. I stop the bird, he goes into full strut. He lifts his head, bam. They're excited. It was just so exciting to see Danny get her first turkey. She's jumping up and down. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it was so so much fun to see the excitement for, for Danny and then Fern's excited. <laughs> you just shot a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean the crazy thing is is when you when you can share this and, and experience it together and all the laughs, laughs, all the frowns, all of it put it together, that little girl will never forget that hunt. That's what hunting and living the choice lifestyle is all about. Absolutely. Going down there, destroying Hoppy's camp for oh. a week. You know, I mean, it's every just, year. Every time we just go down there, we have so much fun. All the campers, Hoppy, Susan, all of you guys are just so amazing. We really appreciate you letting us come down there and love you like family. Ray from Browning was down there. Fern, was, yeah. Danny, I mean, just the whole thing. We just had so much fun down there. You know, when you have a crew and you travel all over the country and you're able to share that kind of stuff and just what it's about and I, I mean we just can't thank everybody enough that's right so hey thanks for making your choice the choice we'll see you next week